Hi, I'm the walrus. <laughs> Cuckoo, ka uh, I'm Ben. <laughs> and I'm John. And together we're OCB. Reactions. And today we have something we've been waiting for, actually. Uh, this is an unsigned act. Yeah. Um, she's actually someone I know. Um, that She just started a music career. Or she dabbled or whatever. She's an author. She's actually a really good author. We'll, we'll drop links to both the like her video and to some of her author stuff. Um, in the com or yeah, where we drop links. And <laughs> so click on that more when you get the, in description. the description. Yeah, that's it. Description. Wow, I, I got the OCB right, and that's it. That's all I'm done for the day, apparently. But, <laughs> um, she goes by the name of Jofiel or Yofiel, if you want to be correct. Right, uh, I'm pretty sure that would be the proper pronunciation because it's the angel of like art artists. Yeah, basically, like you had said, a muse. A muse, yeah. Um, one of the seven archangels, although that annoys crap out of me because archangel means the top angel, and Michael's the archangel, the rest of the angels are underneath him, and he's just like, I'm the archangel. <laughs> Take that, you feel. You go do what I say, because I'm king angel here. Yeah, but uh, anyway, uh, she, she calls it pop. I've listened to one song. I, uh, I'm going to put her in that whole singer-songwriter thing. Okay. Uh, so far, I mean, I know you haven't heard it. No. I mean, I was surprised by what I heard because, I mean, I didn't know what to expect from her. I mean, I know what her musical tastes were, and it, it's a more bubblegum pop kind of thing. Okay. Uh, but uh, apparently that's not all she listens to, and that's not where she draws inspiration. Or maybe it is on this song. I don't know. This is the song she suggested that we do. This is You Don't Have To. Um, so... Yeah, and before we start it, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and share. Get the word out about the show and the artists. Yep, I mean, she's just starting out, so let's see what she's got. Definitely mix issues. Yes. Uh, bring, bring your stuff to uh, uh, the Faithless Monkey Studios and I, I can fix it up for you. <laughs> uh, drums way too prevalent. The piano is pulled back too much but from the drums. But her voice is it's getting buried by the other things. Yeah. Um, and, and it's very pleasant. I mean, yeah, she's got I'm, a very good voice and that's actually... Some of the other singer songwriters that I've heard or we've done on the show, she's better than them. And the song, though, the song isn't bad either. It's just the mix is kind of rough. Yeah, I, I don't dislike this. Uh, I mean, once again, it's it's not my listening listening right. taste. But uh, what's funny is, and I made this comment earlier in the day. Uh, if you listen to like all the pop we've done, we've really only disliked like two songs. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't call this pop. No, uh, this is more like the Alicia Keys kind of uh, yeah. thing. Uh, but but um, no, I, I don't dislike it. I, it's not one of those things I'd normally listen to. But it's pleasant enough, other than just the production issues. It's, yeah. Um, I can't dog on it in, in any way. No, it's, it's. I mean, it's just the yeah, production. It's. It doesn't feel mastered. Right. It's a demo. You can tell yeah. it's a demo. Um, but uh, we'll get back to it.
thing yeah. going on there. I just started paying attention to like what she was actually saying. But that's very nice. I mean, it's a very pleasant message that you don't get. It's positive, which it's not like, oh, I'm a big slut. Ah, nah. It's like, no, this is actually the kind of things that like, I think like young women, especially young people, period. This is the kind of crap that you need to, not crap. This is the kind of message that you need. Yeah. It's like, it's not all about like lust and money. And it's, it's like, yeah, this is the kind of thing that should be out there more. Yeah, um, the, the only thing I started doing is I pulled back and started like focusing more on the music, and I, uh, and I'm not I'm not dogging on the song. I uh, it's still pleasant enough. I still like it, but I would suggest a little bit more dynamics. It's I, I do want to give some kudos having done vocals before, and like, all the instruments I played, the one I hated the most was doing the vocals. No, I'm not talking about her vocals. No, I know you're not. Music I know, itself. I know what you're like talking to, about. I to actually, see some more dynamics in uh, it. Yeah, it's, it's a little more oomph to the composition. Yeah. But no, what I'm talking about, like, I noticed, because this drove me crazy doing vocals. It, and when I would write lyrics, I would struggle to make sure that I didn't do this. She picked some words, like, with no, that don't have the rhymes, are part of a rhyme scheme. That's a pain, I mean, kudos to you, that is a pain in the ass to stay on yeah, doing yeah. that. Um, that always like, oh, I just went flat. Why? Because I used this word. Yeah. yeah. That's, uh, that's, that's why I just like, I come up on this word. It's like, <laughs> I'm not even trying to sing this word. It's like, but, um, yeah. Uh, see, I don't even try to do vocals. I, I just, I, I can't do vocals. Um, everything... For some reason, for for me, uh, no matter what I try to sing, ends up sounding like country. I try I try to sing I try to sing you know, uh, voodoo from uh, oh. uh, from Godsmack. Yeah, and it and sounds like a country singer singing. It, you're, you're, no, I understand why that happens. I know why that happens. That's just like that's where you're comfortable to hit those notes. Yeah, and, you're, you modulated your voice. I mean, I will start. Depending on the song, um, I will start talking in an English accent just so I can get uh, as a starting point for the like, vocal modulation. But that's why I never really have even tried to do vocals because I would create like a new genre of like country metal. Um, I mean, I well, that could be cool, but uh, I mean, I miss being able to play guitar and bass and, right. the, and the keys or anything. It's like all I got left is singing, and I liked it. Damn, this is hard. It's like, this is the reason I'm not a drummer. Timing is hard for me. It's like, but anyway, let's get back to what she's doing. What you don't feel, you don't have to make yourself seem small. All you gotta do is what you want, and then freedom is in your hands. Innocence, don't you give it away. Don't you give it away, innocence. Don't you give it away, innocence. Don't let them take it away. Yeah, that sound. I mean, I think she should have employed it more because she did employ it in, in one of the yeah middle. But 
I, I enjoyed it. I, I like that. Uh, production issues. Uh, and, okay, when I, when I was talking about dynamics, it's, I would have liked to have heard a little bit more with the music. Not just, you know, single note drum beats, single note drum beats, single note drum beats. Really, what this called for would have been a really good acoustic guitar going in the background mm -hmm. along with it. Um, it would have really brought something into it. Uh, and that's not just me being partial as a guitarist. It's, no, I see what you're saying. Yeah, it's, um, I, I don't disagree. I, 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 wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't be throwing any more digital sounds in there because uh, then yeah, I think that would have taken away from the rest of it. Uh, but no, uh, I can see like because adding like a little, like you said, the acoustic guitar, make it a little more organic, keep it organic. Yes. Because it didn't have an inorganic feel to it because the piano sounded real enough. In the, but uh, yeah, digital would ruin it, I think. Yeah. Kind of like I ruined chandeliers for me. Right. Uh, it, but uh, I mean, does it, as a song itself, I like it. it. It it has a good sound, just the production. Uh and we're not dogging on you about your production. Uh I don't know how much experience you've got with it or if somebody else did this for you, did the production. It's but I I would have done a little bit different with the vocals to the instruments. And I think that there also may have been a little bit of EQing that could have Yeah, I, I definitely heard that. Um but overall, I mean, like as as an entity, as a song, yeah, as, as, like, a, as a composition, a, I liked it. Like with her, her vocals with the minimalist composition, mostly work. But yeah, make a couple notes from a, an acoustic guitar would have added a warmth to it. Yeah, um, I agree with that. I mean, as, as especially to go with the message of the song itself, because then after you said something, I had I had already kind of you know disassembled the disassembled it musically. Uh, then I started paying attention to the lyrics, and it's like, yeah, this needs a lot of warmth because that's that's what it's calling for. It's what yeah. it wants. And her voice was warm. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I mean, but yeah, that little a little bit of instru a warm instrumentation. Even like it doesn't even have to be a guitar. Just I think it needs to be stringed. Yes. Uh, even like a little harp or a little uh, anything like that. Um, a dulcimer, uh, a mandolin. Uh, not a sitar. Nah, nah, I think something like a mandolin would would kind of uh, would be too high. Yeah, with, with the rest of it. Yeah, uh, but good song. Yeah, maybe some ukulele. No, no, definitely we'll not. Punch you. Yeah, <laughs> um, <laughs> that was a joke. Uh, but no, I mean, I'd be interested. I keep going. Yeah, I, I mean, that's that my biggest suggestion. Keep going. Um, grow as a songwriter. I already know yeah. you're an excellent writer, um, novelist, and. Uh, like I said, she's actually the first novel she wrote. Like when I first started talking to her, um, wow! I just brain farted bigger than crap because I love that book. Uh, it's got gems on a cover. Damn it! That's gonna okay. Uh, as soon as this goes off, I'm gonna I'm gonna remember what it was. But uh, I think she's an excellent. And it was like the first book she did. It it took me out of reality completely. And it was like this is like. Real danger goonies. It's like, <laughs> like the, there's an innocence to the character, the child characters, and the adventure they're on. But I'm really, really, actually scared for them because this is really happening to these poor characters. And right. So, uh, chasers. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> I redeemed my uh, scar spotted brain, but that's, uh, but yeah, uh, I definitely check out if you like this. Hey, she puts the same care and stuff into her other works too. So, um, yeah, I say just keep going. Yeah, um, and, and keep working on it. And that—that's the other thing about it is if you're doing the uh, if you're doing the production yourself, there's a lot of really good resources, especially on YouTube, uh, to teach you about production. Um, and it, just ask other people that have done it. Uh, it it'll help you, you. And just practicing, you'll improve. Yeah. But it, it took me quite a while to finally get my producer ear. Oh, I, I, I imagine. Here, I mean, here, to where I could hear things the right way. 
Yeah, it's a completely different way to listen to music. Yes, it is. And, and usually, it actually kind of sucks. <laughs> yeah, it does because like you a, hear the same song 80 times, then you never want to hear it again. Yeah, plus you're listening to like each piece of it 80 yeah. times, trying to put it together so you can hear it one time all together, then you hear it, you have to listen to it 80 times to fix the, what you missed. And the, yeah, it's, it's, then you have to do the final mix. And, yeah, it's yeah. no fun. Production. You have to have a passion for it, and, and then if you start learning uh, mastering, it just seems oh, to yeah, a that, different level than even thinking about. I mean, I haven't done a lot of it, but it makes me want to cry just thinking about it. But um, no, good, good job. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm very impressed. Uh, so, um, and if you like this song, we'll go to the channel, subscribe to her channel, yeah. check out her books, check out other things. Um, that's all I really got to say about this. And before we close out, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and share. Get the word out about uh, Joe Fiel, Yo Fiel. Um, yep. And uh, about the show. And don't forget to drop some uh, suggestions for us to react to. Okay. So, fairly well. Thank you.